Hello everyone, nobody here. Reloading sucks, and I don't want to do it. Thunderlord's cool, and I want to use it. It's time to suit up. This is Actium War Rig, and today's build is another spin on a classic. While you have an auto rifle or a machine gun in your hands, War Rig will continuously reload it, even if you're actively shooting. All of the applicable exotic weapons love this chess piece, especially the exotic machine guns like Xenophage. Thunderlord's inherent RPM ramp up really hits different when you've got Actium War Rig on. That's just the start though. Thunderlord's Catalyst just got released this season and adds Return Stroke, giving ammo back when the lightning strikes hit targets. Between Actium War Rig and the Catalyst, you can fire all of Thunderlord's reserves without stopping. Yes, even with the ramped up fire rate and a reserves mod. It almost feels like a shame to let go of the trigger. Honestly, Actium War Rig plus Machine Gun is a goaded combo. It's slept on because machine guns aren't generally used outside of niche scenarios, and the meme lords seem to prefer sweet business, which, you know, I respect it. But Thunderlord overcomes that machine gun niche with its intrinsic overload stun and respectable damage qualities. It has lower DPS than linear fusions, but higher total damage than rockets, and it's much more forgiving than either. In short, this build is more of a nightfall setup, but can tackle rage just fine. And you can always just take advantage of War Rig as the divinity bro, since machine guns are fair game when you're the debuff dude. There's still a slight problem there though. When you can fire your entire reserves without stopping, you're gonna run out. That's where auto rifles come in. If you're sticking with Arc, there are two auto rifles to consider. Arc Logic, which is the easiest farm in the game, and Sweet Sorrow, which is craftable. They each have their perks, so take your pick. My rolls are on screen. Depending on your luck with ammo drops, you can actually go entire activities without ever manually reloading a weapon, so long as you swap between your light machine gun and your auto rifle. With an auto loading or reconstruction kinetic weapon, you straight up never have to reload, which is good, because reloading sucks and I don't wanna. Another nice thing is that Thunderlord and Actium War Rig are self-contained. You aren't necessarily locked into a certain subclass or even necessarily an auto rifle. That said, you can go a long way if you build into the synergies. So here's how I'm rolling. I'm on Arc Titan, since Arc is the new hotness. For Super, of course I'm on Thunder Crash. It helps with boss damage, plus I clear adds just fine with Thunderlord and abilities. I decided to go with Thunderclap for my melee since it's the fastest of the three choices to pull out, and even if you don't charge it, it can give you some breathing room in a fight. Grenades are a bit more personal. I'm using lightning grenades since they jolt without having to use Spark of Shock, and Touch of Thunder gives you an extra charge. I know that everyone's recommending Storm because of the damage, but for me they're mainly an engine to make elemental wells in my setup. I'm also using Knockout for the health regen on melee kill. I don't personally find Juggernaut all that appealing, but you do you. Fragment wise, I'm rolling with Spark of Magnitude to make lightning grenades linger longer, Spark of Resistance for tankiness, Spark of Amplitude to make extra orbs from arc multi kills while amplified, and Spark of Discharge for ionic traces on arc weapon kills. If I had to drop one to use Juggernaut, I'd choose Magnitude. It's nice, but the others are much more important. Amplitude is a real standout. If you use a siphon mod with Spark of Amplitude, you'll actually make double orbs when you get arc multi kills while you're amplified. So hogging all of the kills can actually get you and your allies supers primed very quickly. And speaking of orbs and spark of amplitude, just like my previous video on Hunter, I recommend Solar Legs with Innervation. It's surprising just how much health you get back from even a single orb. It'll save your skin, which should be pretty thick anyways, between spark of resistance and as much resilience as you can get. Your other two focus stats should be recovery and either discipline or strength. Match that last one to whichever Wellmaker mod you're currently running. I also highly recommend Machine Gun Reserves and a Scavenger mod if you can fit them in, but I know they're pricey. Moving on, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using Elemental Ordnance with my double lightning nades, and I'm also on Elemental Armaments in order to proc my Fonts of Might as often as possible. Elemental Charge and Firepower keep the grenades coming and make a nice comfortable ability loop too. One well gives two charges with light stacks, so I get discounts on both grenade charges from just one pickup. The nice thing is that you don't have to think too hard. Just lead with a grenade to snag an elemental well and go to town. Thunderlord already hits like a truck, so a font of might Thunderlord turns nightfalls into comfortable strolls. Which is honestly kind of funny, because this build was always meant to be a fun off-meta pick for my own amusement. 
It wasn't until Thunderlord got that intrinsic overload this season that I really gave thought to making a build out of it. It won't carry you through content in the same way Laura Lee Splendor did before its recent nerf, but it's subclass agnostic at the end of the day and a great time when you can really lay on the trigger. I've once again linked the dim loadout in the description. If you do want to change it up to run the mod setup on other subclasses, then for Stasis I recommend Crate and Chain of Command, for Void I recommend Reckless Oracle and Temporal Claws, and for Solar I recommend the Amit AR2 and Xenophage. That last one is a very comfy DPS setup for raids if you don't want to min-max all day. Have fun spamming Thunderlord everywhere, take it into Legendaires and consider yourself the ultimate bullet hose for a 10 out of 10 good time. See you around.